it's Christmas And some kind of love, my friend I pray it will never end Do you like to be here too? It's Christmas And outside snow's glistening It's just you and me tonight I'll spend all this Christmas with you Good morning you guys um we are just getting ready for the day because we're gonna go out a little bit i'm listening to some christmas music while i go and get ready So I, I literally cannot deal with this hair today. I can't get it the way I want it, but oh well, I'm done. I'm not gonna sit here on my hair any longer. So we are at five and below, hot stuff, cool presses. So I'm gonna go ahead and see what we can find, just like little bits of cute things to put in my kids stockings I'm not gonna go like overly crazy last year I went overly crazy on the stocking stuffers this year I didn't buy like massive stockings I'm not gonna go overboard this time because I do need to save up a little bit for um, the kids presents and stuff yeah let's just go on in lock the door look you guys there's still no snow all the snow is gone now this is where I would really like to go. Go get a facial, but that ain't gonna happen. So early, I feel like I'm the only person gonna be in the store. Part this time. Hi. Hi. Look how cute these are for Gumdrop's cage. I needed to get some um, gel things for his cage. Look at all the cute socks. Look how cute those are up there. How cute this is. Hopping Hammy would probably really like that. So my daughter likes makeup and stuff. Um, look how cheap, one to five dollars. I mean, my gosh. Ooh, I always wanted to try one of these. Never tried one of those. I'm gonna. Oh, look at all the masks. Here you go. My daughter loves JoJo so much. I'm gonna get her these hand wipes. These are so cute. How cute. Got her one of these last year too because she likes putting them like on her backpack. How cute is this one? I'm gonna get her this one and let's pick out a hand sanitizer. Do they have like a Christmassy one? Really not. Let's do Vanilla bean frosting. She also likes kitty ears and stuff. So, will that fit in a stocking? Thank you guys, there's mugs. How cute that one is. Oh, I really like this one. Oh, I really like this one. I have too many mugs already. I really like this one though. Don't judge me. I'm 
Let's look. There's Waldo. How cute is that? Look how adorable that is. Look how cute. It's a hedgehog. Why is this so tiny? It's like for a tiny iPhone. It's a little hedgehog. In the car, you guys, and I literally have two bags. Um, I hope that I did like okay separating everything. Later today, I'll show you guys what I got. Um, I might have to get a few more things because my oldest son, a lot of that stuff in there wasn't really for him. You know what I mean? Like I tried my best to get some things that he liked. Same for the baby. I didn't get her as much in there either because there was not like a lot of baby stuff. You know what I mean? And she's so into Peppa Pig. So not today, but at some point I'm just going to keep my eyes open for like little things when I go to like a different store or something. I got a lot of stuff. I'll show you guys later. We're back from the store and I just wanted to go and check on the hammies. And what I did was I just kind of rearranged a little bit in his cage. I cleaned his wheel as well because he peed a lot in there. But little gumdrop. Oh, well, that's not going to help. He is awake right now. Let's see if we can take... The lid off. It's up super early. My goodness, it's still daylight. So he's just like, really full of energy right now. Hi. <laughs> full of energy. Oh. He's so cute. His cheeks are full of stuff. He's got big cheeks. He got big cheeks. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of exciting to see him up so early. Looks like he definitely feels a bit more comfortable. Um, so that's really good. I'll see you later tonight. Oh, he went up the platform. That was the first time I've seen it. That was the first time I've seen him go up. So now maybe we can put our food dish up there. <laughs> My brother was running a little bit late to work this morning and um, he asked me if I could switch out um, Link's dirty water and give him some fresh water. So I'm going to go do that for him now. It's okay. Let me turn on the light. It's kind of dark. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? It's just me. I'm just going to come and get your water. Oh, there was a door over there. I could have taken it from there. I'm just gonna get your water. Little door over there. So I'm gonna go grab it over here. Oh, this is just from one, from one night. It's messy. Let me close this. Here I come. It's just me again. Hi guys, I am back. It's actually quite a bit later. I really didn't do much of anything today except take care of um, the kids. Now the little one is also sick. She has a fever. Um, so I had to deal with that as well. I finally found some time to actually sit down now and show you guys the stuff I got from Five and Below. I got my kids um, little stockings right here. And like I said, I didn't go crazy and buy, you know, humongous stockings. Usually I don't wrap the stocking stuffers. I just stuff them in the 
thing. But yeah, it will be good to put them in here so I can kind of see. So I did get a couple of things from me. Like that store is so cheap and um, when I see something I like, I always grab something. So the first thing, as you guys saw in the video, was these were these gel clings um, that I'm gonna be putting on Gumdrop's cage. Isn't it so cute? It's like a little sloth. I love sloths. I actually have a ton of sloth stuff. I got these little pens right here for my oldest. They are Five Nights at Freddy's. He is absolutely obsessed with Five Nights at Freddy's, so I'm going in his... Oh my gosh, I should have got bigger... Maybe I should have gotten bigger stockings. Oh yes, I got these too. Hold on. I did not know. I had a handful. Oh, they're in here. I'm just making sure my boys don't come around the corner. These would be really cute too to put in little stockings because they're like little magic tricks. So this one is a card spinner trick thing. Um, this one is a magic separation of the ring. And this one is coin jail. So I thought those would be really cute to put in their stockings. Oh my gosh, I might, oh my gosh. I'm not sure if these are gonna fit you guys. I might have to just wrap these up as like a Christmas present. Oh boy, okay, got here. Okay, so these are the Jojo hand wipes that <laughs> my daughter would like. So those are going in here. I'm not giving that as a Christmas present. This is something I always do each year is I put in these cute little um, card games for the kids. So I got a Go Fish, I got Crazy Eights, and Old Maid. These are so much fun. I even enjoy playing these with my kids all the time. So I'm gonna put these. These are definitely going in. I don't care if they don't fit. They're going all the way at the bottom. Made it work. Making it work. Okay, then I found these little mystery minis, mini plush clip-ons by Hatchimals. This would be really fun too because my kids, or my the twins like Hatchimals, my oldest doesn't, and um, definitely thought I would include one for the baby as well. That would be something, I think she'll have a big smile on her face opening this. I feel like opening them, to be honest, myself. <laughs> like, I wanna open one and see what I get. Yes, I got these. Okay, so I got this little T.Y. Beanie Baby plushie and I got for my son. He loves dogs so much, it's ridiculous. So I got him a dog. Then I got the baby a kitty cat in black and white, which I thought was so cute, because she does love cats. And then I also got my daughter, my other daughter, a, or is this a cat? I thought it was a cat. It is like a tiger, but I thought it was a cat. <laughs> Oldest doesn't care for those kind of stuffed animals, but he likes other things, so I'm gonna have to still get a few things for him. Um, I also got this little guy for the baby, or this little girl for the baby. I think this is from Paw Patrol, isn't it? That's what it looks like to me. Yeah, Paw Patrol, so she was really, really cute. I also... I also got my kids um, some jawbreakers because who doesn't like jawbreakers? I used to be obsessed with jawbreakers when I was younger. I always remember going downtown with my friends and we would go into this like candy shop and we would get like this really big jawbreaker and everyone would get one and it was just a really, that's a really good memory actually. Then I got surprise, surprise, surprise animals. You just get one stuffed animal inside of this little ball and there's actually a hedgehog in there. There's like a bunch that you can um, collect. I don't know if you guys can see that. I hope so. But there's a cute little hedgehog. I hope one of them gets a hedgehog. A milk chocolate with candy stickers and a toy surprise on the inside. Um, oh, are these what the toys are going to be? Collect all 18 monsters. So there's, oh, there's two toys inside and you can collect all 18. Collect, so these are like little monsters and then you get a bunch of different candies. 
random candies. So that's gonna be fun for them. I got them each one of those as well. I got these kitty ears for my daughter. Um, They're not gonna fit in the stocking. So I'm gonna keep this for a Christmas present. So I'm gonna leave that to the side. So this was something that I got for myself. Um, I found this MTV t-shirt. I grew up with MTV so when I saw this and I love the colors so I wanted to have this shirt for like around the house or even if I go out whatever like I like it a lot. Not about food. I got one of these um for my oldest it's called a pocket travel tumble tower it's like a little Jenga like a tiny like a teeny tiny Jenga. It's so stinking cute. It's so tiny oh my gosh. So I got him that. Actually, I might not have to get anything anymore, you guys. Like, they're full already. Like, they're full. I got some of these because they always get excited when I when I include either markers, colored pencils, or crayons. So I got them that, but it's not gonna fit in it's not gonna fit in their stocking. So I think I'm gonna keep these aside for like, you know, Christmas Freddy's. My oldest, one of these little Five Nights at Freddy's, cluck them all thingies. He loves that, so I just give him that, that's going in. I got my daughter these little lip balm pods um, in Peppermint Swirl. I got a bunch of other um, like lip balm type you know, lip smackers, but she has so many of those already. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I get them all the time. But you know what? Let's go ahead and try these out. I don't know if this is gonna fit in here. Like, and I still have more stuff. Okay, so I think I'm gonna leave this for Christmas. And because remember, I wanted to get her one of these little hand sanitizers that she likes so much. So. I'm gonna stuff that, that'll fit in here. Hey, so that's basically, the baby still has room for like maybe um, like one or two little things. So I'm gonna keep my eyes out on maybe something for her to put in here still. But my other kids, I think they're done. A shirt that I really liked, it is Smokey Says. Again, something I grew up with. Totally my childhood, so I definitely wanted it. As you guys saw, I got myself another mug. I love this holographic stuff lately. Like, it's so big, you know? And I just really, like, I could not leave this. <laughs> I'm so bad with mugs. Whenever I do get my own place, um, I am definitely going to have, like, those cute coffee racks that you can buy and you can, like, hang your coffee mugs you know on it you can like see all of your mugs out on the kitchen Ugh. it is super late my son is starting to feel better but now my daughter elizabeth is very very sick so i think it's going to be a very very long night for me right now she's upstairs um with my dad because she is not sleeping she has a fever and i already gave her medicine for it so she's upstairs hanging with my dad right now I thought we would go and um, check on Gumdrop. I wanted to put these little gel clamps on his cage as well. So I thought, you know what, let's just do that together. And oh my gosh, they're so cute. Put, should I put him, I put him in the middle like that? Will that work? Kind of cute, right? Like a little star here. You guys, he's awake. I don't know if you guys can see him. He's awakey. I'll put it like that. Wake me up on Christmas. How cute. Oh my gosh, these are such a pain. These single ones, they're really hard sometimes to put on. These, cause all of the letters are just together in one little gel cling. We go I did it it kind of looks janky but oh well tonight um I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle some um natural treats around his cage so he can like forge a little bit a lot of this is like rose petals yeah look what I got 
You want to try a mealworm? Hmm? I think with him, it's going to still be quite some time before I actually start to take him out of the cage and try to pick him up. So I know a lot of people were wondering, I know a lot of people were asking me um, when I was going to start doing that, but it's still going to be a while. And until I think he feels like comfortable enough, then we'll definitely like start doing that. But it's still going to be a while. Hello? Do you want one? No? Aww. It does not look like we're going to be as successful tonight as we were the other night. Um... Aww. Honey? <gasps> yay. Oh, yay, yay, yay. Yay. That's such good news. Now you put it in the sand. It's just going to take some time, but um, a little bit, a little bit each night or every other night will definitely help. Good, at least he's eating the, the mealworm. Yeah. Is that good? We'll see you, cutie pie. I'm also going to try a little yogurt drop. What's that? Oh, that's good. Yeah, he can't resist a yogurt drop, that's for sure. Mm. Now you dropped it. It's right there. But yeah, I find it really helpful to like um, do this every night or every other night so they can just get used to your voice and you know, you being in the cage, like your hands and stuff. And then at some point I just feel like they get used to you and then they feel more comfortable the more you do it. Yeah, this is just basically what we're gonna be doing until he feels a little bit more comfortable. I will put it in your food dish because he already took something from me. He did pretty well tonight. So I'm not gonna like force it again. So yeah, you guys, it's pretty late. Um, I think I'm going to end the vlog for tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and go upstairs, take care of the baby. And who knows when I'm going to bed tonight. I'm super tired myself. I'm going to put his lid back on. I also already checked on Patch earlier. Um, he came out for a little bit. He's totally fine. I think tomorrow I would really like to get him out of the cage to come hang out with us. So we're definitely going to take Patch out tomorrow when he is awake. And he's kind of made a mess in here, so I might just tidy up a little bit. And yeah, Biggie Small's sleeping. So yeah, I love you guys so much, and I will see you all in tomorrow's vlog. Bye!